Well, hi Michael, um, here we are again and uh, uh, I really just wanted to catch up with you on the uh, almonds. Um, I think last time we spoke we'd uh, really just had the uh, objective estimate. Yeah, that's right. And uh, recently on August uh, the 12th we've had the July shipment figures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. Previous to that we had um, kind of standoff developing where the the growers weren't, uh, uh, weren't producing uh, any offers, or the packers weren't giving us any offers. Uh, what was the July shipment figure like, and uh, what is the reaction in the market? Well, the uh, the July number was 132 million, which compared to last July was 151, so it was significantly down compared to last July. Uh, domestic <coughs> sales were, were good. Okay. Um, that was fine compared to last year. It's the export numbers that are down. Okay. So the reaction, uh, there hasn't really been any reaction. The, the, the Californians are sort of looking at the overall picture and saying uh, we're 3.8% up okay. for the whole crop. Season. Yeah. For the whole season. Um, there isn't really any more offers or any offers from California. Um, and the market's kind of just sort of drifting along, right? Okay. Just sort of moving sideways. Um, it's been a little bit busier the last <coughs> couple of days. Uh, some interest for Jan, Feb, March. I think it's 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 all been uh, traders really, or two or three traders that are maybe covering in some sales they made earlier, possibly. Right. So it's uh, still in uh, kind of limbo. Um, yeah. We've got some other world news though. Uh, uh, we've had this uh, Russian problem come up mm -hmm. with uh, the sanctions against American armies in particular. Yeah. And uh, 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 the other day we received some offers uh, for resale um, yeah. of um, stuff that had been sold to Russia. Mm -hmm. Do you think this might be something that would crack them, or do you think that they just aren't listening? Well, I think Russia, directly or indirectly, takes about 50 million pounds, decent chunk uh, mm -hmm. per crop, uh, whether that's yeah, directly or through other routes. Right. We've seen some offers for stuff afloat or stuff that's arriving soon because they can't bring it in. Sure. So maybe there will be some extra stuff in Europe that they've got to move, and that might, if, if that's discounting uh, shipments at origin, then maybe they, that will put a bit more pressure on them. Right. Um, but so far these prices are nothing startling. No, no. not really at the moment. Uh, how about uh, uh, sales? Are we finding anything? Uh, uh, I know it's uh, July, August, it's not really a uh, peak period. But we should be starting to get some product uh, sold for uh, the peak delivery times. Mm -hmm. Uh, customers coming to you for Christmas requirements, etc. <coughs> the demand has it's been hand to mouth for a long time, but I've noticed the bites are even smaller now. Right. So people looking for shipments first half of say September or October, right? Um, or spotters who need stuff like a ton or two tons for delivery tomorrow. Right. So. Everyone's very nervous, high prices. Just nice small amounts, just small in time. Amounts, just in time. Uh, okay. So things are just ticking along at the minimum basic rate. And uh, yeah. uh, what about any further news from California? How's the crop coming in? Well, the crop is coming in. Uh, the news is actually not great so far. Mainly, it's from the south, no. sort of Bakersfield area. Okay. And they've tended to be the most stressed orchards. Okay. The ones that probably had the least water. Okay. So it's difficult to really say. Uh, I think some of the larger packers have maybe had five percent in, and some of the smaller is two or three percent. Okay. So, so we're just in infancy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's difficult to really gauge what what the crop's going to be like, it's far too early, although the initial news has, has not been great. Okay, and what are they saying? They're just saying the non-parels look down, okay. look light. The non-parels are the first in? The first in. Yeah. 
the bulk of the They're kernel. light in terms of uh, weight. The, the kernels just are lighter than they look. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that's the point to the, the water situation, maybe, or the heat. Okay, but so little is in that so little is in, it's I don't more about sentiment then. It's more about, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know, and I'm having to finance all this, and uh, I see uh, very little upside mm -hmm. in in this, and uh, I'm a bit worried that uh, eventually, if uh, the traders don't see upside uh, potential in the product, <coughs> then. Uh, 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 when the stuff is finally needed, it won't just be a question of price. It might just not be there, mm -hmm. and then you've got empty packets, which um, is uh, the path to being delisted. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, um, destruction of demand. Yeah. Do you feel that we're getting close to that? We're in a sort of vacuum, almost. There's no offers. <laughs> There's no offers. No one is really willing to offer in the second hand the European traders. Yeah. Because, uh, well, mainly because if you were to sell today, you couldn't really buy it. You couldn't cover it in. Right. And the market's just uh, on new crop. Well, current and new crop really just move, moving kind of sideways. So there's no fluctuations. There's no. You can put sales on the book for the sake of it, but. Right. Okay. <laughs> We're just so peddling and see. we're coming up now to the season, we're in uh, August, that means that uh, it's getting uh, even late to buy uh, September shipments, or uh, yeah. early, certainly first half September, first yeah. half September is um, middle to late October, mm -hmm. which is getting late it's for the very Christmas late. backing. Very late, yeah. Um, I think they're maybe lucky if they're 10% sold. On new crop at this stage, and yeah. they would normally be 30. So I think we're looking at almost guaranteed demand destruction. We're already there, yeah. as yeah. it were. Yeah. So uh, maybe a bit like the Hazels, uh, just things just creak to a stop because nobody wants to finance the goods. Mm -hmm. We're talking about hugely expensive containers, um, and now we just have to wait till maybe January, February when. Uh, Trade can get start moving again, so no almonds this Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we need uh, the growers want want to make. I think they probably want to make what they're making on current crop, which is sort of three forty for standards. Uh, whether that's realistic, we're starting about a dollar a pound more than we were this time last year. Yeah. Um, but I think until they they need to see some hard numbers. So yeah. we've seen the July shipment weaker. Yeah. If we then see the August and possibly the September yeah. uh, weaker, then maybe they'll start to real response. Yeah, they start to see that hang on. Yeah. Maybe demand is, is slowing down. So yeah. that's it really, Michael. Uh, we can't sell, we can't buy. These prices are just too high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks.